Cube, and I'm going to show you with my crew survivors how to survive. Scorching hot out here, and one of the first survival tips you need to know is peeing on your hat. Oh, uh, uh, Ruben, I mean, bare feet. Oh, oh God. Guys, um, do any of you ha guys have to pee? Uh, no. Uh, well, I guess it's out of you two uh, to pee in this hat. Scissors, paper, rock. So, scissors, paper, rock, guys. Scissors, paper, rock, bro. Scissors, paper, rock. Oh, oh. You have to so pee on your hat. You, got, you, you won, so you got to pee on the hat. But I thought it was about no, to be lost. No, go pee. No. Damn it. I'm going to get you guys to this. Maybe you guys die in the night time. Hurry up. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Oh. What? How can the hat's not wet? Dude, oh, yeah. you're meant to pee in the hat. Oh yeah, I forgot. Running, I mean, bad chills. I guess it's up to me. Yes. Booyah! Good luck, bro. Oh, oh Nice to see someone can do something. Okay. Hey, bare feet, bare feet! Don't you hate it when feet. you miss the ball? Oh, is that, is that my hat? <laughs> One of the main reasons we pee on a hat is because of the nutrients in pee. There's heaps of salt in it. And that replaces the salt in your sweat. Also, pee is moist, which means you lose less sweat. Okay guys, what we need here is shade and water, more importantly. So obviously, we found the shady spot over here. I'm BBQ and I'm going to show you how to get water from rocks. First, what you want to do is rip out an old palm tree leaf and then use the palm tree leaf to dig a hole. In a nice good spot over here, this looks good, and dig a hole. Once your hole is big enough, you're going to cover it with the palm leaf. And then, you're going to have to look for some rocks. There are only a few rocks around here. But I'm going to have to make do with what I've found. Now, I'm going to put these rocks on top of my palm tree leaf. What this does, is it weighs it down. And then, get another palm tree leaf and cover these rocks. Now what ha happens is in the night time the rocks will cool down which means that in the daytime the rocks will still be cold and water will form on the rocks. Now we're going to come back in a few days or a few hours, whichever takes longer, and going to check on this amazing technique. You gotta rub the two sticks together to make fire, right? Okay. Start. Dude, fire! 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 Okay, as you can see here, we found these two sorts of food. Yeah, now these are irises. Obviously, you can see they're very good scavengers looking for food, and you should see how they fight. They can be pretty vicious. Now they've got a massive wingspan. These guys are powerful flies. But obviously, they are, can be edible, but you will have to cook them. They're very shy birds, so it will be hard to catch because they do run away. As you can see when we get closer, they fly away. So we'll have to wait and find some for them. Let's see. Now let, let him do this, the water. Okay, come on guys. Follow me. Alright, we've got to get down. Can't make ourselves too much. I mean, obviously, it's bigger. Okay, there's the GoPro here. These birds, if you don't already know, are called plovers. These are pretty common up in the Northern Territory, and they usually come around here near the wet season. Now, obviously, you can tell they're very protective of their young. And this one here is nesting, trying to lay eggs. 
and obviously we can't go too close because they'll try and swoop us. But these eggs are very valuable, they're a good source of protein and to eat. Take a minute. So we're going to have to try and take these while the plovers are not attending them to look after. Now as you can see, there are baby plovers in there. Extra sauce of vitamin something. How do you zoom in? We've got to decide the right time in order to make an attempt to capture these eggs. So we'll come back later. And as you can see there, there's a tiny chick. So we'll come around and another time when they're not attending that much and eat their young. Like a box. As you can see, I've got a green egg. These aren't too tasty, but they're full of nutrition and will help you survive in this scorching hot area. Tasty! I'm J.R. Grills, and I've just found a cockroach. These are very common creatures, full of vitamin C and protein. They've got a kind of goo inside them, which is very good for you, or on your immune system. So, you can just eat these plain, I'm about to attempt to eat one in order to keep my energy levels up and to keep me healthy and alive. Just the right way so that it's some water. If I can just get this. Oh, that's good stuff. So what we've done is we waited for a few hours and we've come back. And as you can see, the rock that was in there, Ronan's gonna suck and get as much moisture as he can out of it. And what what we hit an old army technique is to keep it in his mouth so that it tricks the body into thinking that he's got enough water. And what you've got to do is try and keep it as long as you can. Even though you might feel like drinking it, it will be as... We're so hungry, we could eat anything. Wait a second! I'm bear. No, wait, we're up first, let's not just go too close and we'll be like, hey. <laughs> Skink. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's got me. <laughs> no, just, no, this is. <laughs> 